In this example, we're given two functions. The first one, f of x, is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. And the second is g of x that equals 2x minus 1. So the first thing we have to do is find f plus g of x. This is the sum function. And the first thing we have to do in all these cases is write down the definition. What does the sum function f plus g of x mean? It just means f of x plus g of x. So now all we have to do is substitute what f of x and g of x is in this equation. So f of x is just 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. And then I have to add to that g of x, which is 2x minus 1. So now I need to simplify this expression. Well, since there's an addition in between these two parentheses, there's nothing in front of this parentheses. Do I really need these parentheses in there? No. So I can just rewrite this without any of the parentheses. So I'm just going to quickly rewrite it. And now to simplify it, all I have to do is look for like terms. Is there a like term that goes with 3x squared? Are there any other x squareds? No. So I'm going to have 3x squared. Now to combine like terms, I have negative 5x plus 2x. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3x. And then lastly, I have a plus 7 and a minus 1. So combine those like terms, 7 minus 1 is 6. So I have plus 6. So my sum function f plus g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 3x plus 6. Now I need to figure out what f plus g of 3 is, or the sum function evaluated at 3. Since I've already figured out the sum function up here and I have its definition, to figure out f plus g of 3, all I have to do is plug a 3 in for my definition of the sum function. So it's just going to be 3 times, instead of x, I'm going to have 3. So it's 3 times 3 squared minus 3 times, what's x? 3 plus 6. So all I've done is substitute in 3 for each of these x's in the definition of the sum function. Now order of operations. The first thing you have to do is the squaring. So it's going to be 3 times 3 squared means 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 3 times 3 plus 6. Now I can do my multiplication and divisions working from left to right. So 3 times 9 is 27. Minus 3 times 3 is 9 plus so now 27 minus 9 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24. So my sum function f plus g evaluated at 3 is equal to 24. One thing I want to point out is if we hadn't already have figured this part out, there is one other way to work out part 2. And that is the sum function evaluated at 3 can be found by finding f of 3 and adding g of 3 to it. So I would plug 3 in for every x in f to figure out f of 3. Do the same with g and then add my answers. But since I'd already figured this out, it was much quicker to do it this way. And now for these same two functions, I need to work out the difference function. 
Notice the definitions of f and g are the same as they were on the last slide. So the difference function f minus g of x by definition is just f of x minus g of x. So what was f of x? f of x was 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. And then I'm going to subtract g of x, which is 2x minus 1. Now, do I need these parentheses? The first set of parentheses, no, there's nothing in front of them. I don't need the first set of parentheses. So I'm just going to bring down my 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. But we must write the second set of parentheses because I'm going to have to subtract both of these terms. So be very careful and put these parentheses in there. So now what I'm going to do is distribute this negative into the parentheses. And remember, that negative is really a negative 1. So I have negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Double check, when you distribute a negative through a parentheses, you change all the signs in the following parentheses. So positive 2x became negative 2x, and negative 1 became positive 1. So last thing, so look for like terms. Is there a like term that goes with 3x squared? No, there's no other x squared term. Now I have a negative 5x minus 2x. Those are like terms. Negative 5 added to a negative 2 is negative 7x. And lastly, I have my constants of 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. So I have plus 8. So the definition of my difference function, f minus g of x equals 3x squared minus 7x plus 8.